Hello and welcome to another Max QDA video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your code system. As you might already know, if you click on this button right here, or press Alt-N, you can create new codes. If an already existing code is highlighted when you do this, the new code will become its subcode. To transfer a code to a different level, drag it directly below a code of the level you want this code to join. To make it a subcode of another code, just drag it directly on that code. To merge two codes, including their coded segments, just drag one of them on top of the other, right on this rectangle here where it says Merge. To copy or move the coded segments of a code, you can also right-click on the source code, select the respective option in the context menu, and then insert those segments for a new code like this. You can customize the display of those frequencies here, and limit them to, for example, only activated documents, or to the one currently being displayed in the document browser. To see the sum of all the coded segments a code has, including those of its subcodes, just collapse it like this. To change the colour of a code, you can either choose one of these default colours right here, or choose between millions of new colours here. To copy all the subcodes of a particular code and add them to another code, right-click on the code and select Copy Subcodes. Once again, you can then right-click on the other code to insert them here. Please note, though, that this procedure only copies the subcodes as categories. It doesn't copy the coded segments these subcodes have been assigned to. You can also move any selection of codes by activating them and then clicking on the option to copy all activated codes right here in the context menu. By right-clicking on a code, you can arrange its subcodes in alphabetical order, or by their frequency. This option is also available for all the top-level codes by right-clicking on Code System. In the default view setting that we're looking at right now, the tree-like hierarchical structure offers you a pretty clear overview of your codes. However, the details of each code are hidden. To see information like a code's creation date or author, for example, click on this button here to open a list view. Now you can rearrange your codes by clicking on any of the columns or right-click on them to filter certain codes out. If you want to rearrange your code system outside the standard hierarchical structure, you have several options available to you. Code sets are one option. They allow us to permanently reorganize any group of codes. You can create a new code set here. Already activated codes are automatically grouped together as a new code set. This code set will be available for you to work with from then on. You can also add new codes to an existing set at any time via drag and drop. MaxQDA also lets you reorganize your codes in a two-dimensional environment called Creative Coding. Using the Creative Coding function, simply drag all codes you want to categorize onto the free area on the right. You can then link codes together just as you might on a mind map. Linking this way lets you add codes, merge codes, define codes as subcodes, or subcodes of subcodes. When you're done, just click Stop Creative Coding and your changes will be transferred to your code system. If you want to export your codes or your code system, for example for the appendix of your research report, use the Codebook Export function, which you'll find in the Reports tab. You can customize this codebook by using these options that appear. 
in addition to providing an overview of your code system, it also creates a list of all your codes, including the code memos you have assigned, within which you may have recorded your code definitions. And if you'd like to transfer your code system to another MaxQDA project, MaxQDA lets you export it in its own unique file format. You'll find this option in the Codes tab. So, those are all the basics of organizing your codes in MaxQDA. Thank you for watching, and we wish you continued success with all your projects.